Okay, latest project, the toolbox water pump system here. So I bought a Stanley workhorse, you're fine. And we put a, how much is this? Is it 115 amp hour battery? And it's a deep cycle marine battery, and we're going to use it to run the 12 volt transfer pump, water transfer pump. Okay, and um, we picked this toolbox above some of the others that were actually a little more nifty looking and maybe a little wider because this one has a solid axle, so you don't have to worry as much about the wheels coming off, but it, and it, so it gives us some options there. As we go along, we'll show you how it works. And Ronnie just determined that he wants to take the battery back out, which it was a chore just getting it in there because it's kind of big and heavy, so that it'd be easier actually to fill with the water because we don't have to worry about the disconnects. I'm going to actually drill through the bottom and make it so that it can hook through without coming to the outside. So it probably would be best. We'll go ahead and take it out, flip the battery around because it's not a sealed battery since it's going to be outside. Okay. Did you check it? So basically what he's doing is he's rounding out the hole where the hose is going through. That way, you don't have to open it constantly to take the hose in and out. And that's really close, so now it's just rounding it out. Okay, so we've got the hole made and each of the clamps will pass through. And the wires come in through to the bottom. There's plenty of wire here because they expect you to have a distance, I guess. Ow. Sorry. Okay, so the wire, the power cable is running through from the top down into the bottom and I just took a, a zip tie so it'd be a little neater and then stuck it in there. And that pretty much takes care of that. So, top. Water pump. And I just put the blocks in there basically to keep everything in place. So, stuff doesn't move around when you tilt the box back and so on. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see with all this sun. There's the on-off switch. You'll just be able to flip it. And I thought about actually making it so that it goes to the outside so you don't have to open it. But then waterproofing and stuff, so I figure, well, it'd just be better just to set it inside. We don't have to be so lazy that we don't even open up the top. And then this part in the bottom can close. Okay. And then when it's not in use, it is safely stored. And whoop, there you go, make sure it snaps. That part, snap that down. And voila, there you go, your portable water center. Now, what about the hose? Well, you got this nifty handle here, so might as well use it too. Okay, and there you go. How long do you think that took start to finish there, Ronnie? Yeah, start to finish about 30 minutes for this project. So not too bad. Your hose, would you like to come and show them how you can wheel it? No? <laughs> he says no. And again, is it hard to do? No. Okay. It's much easier than picking that battery up. Yeah, it's a lot easier because that battery is very heavy. I couldn't even pick it up really to get it put up in there. So, and I figure 
it's a toolbox so you know I got the toolbox for $23 free shipping off of Amazon and to have everything in one spot working together that was worth it to me so anyway another project quick and easy and relatively inexpensive we already had the battery it came off of our Harbor Freight 45 watt system so when the battery starts to run lower what I'll probably do is I'll probably in between char in between usage just wheel it over to the panels and hook it up and let it charge all right that's it okay I was just getting ready to put it all away and I thought uh, you know I know there's gonna be somebody that says oh but you didn't show us it working to ensure it works well we know the water pump works because kind of been there done that but let's go ahead and turn it on and I've got it in there kind of yucky stuff but there's a screen on it and we got a wasp buzzing me so I'm gonna try to do this without making you dizzy and there we go sorry for the sudden movement And here comes the water. And there it is. Okay. So, as they say, the proof is in the pudding. Good deal. And there we go. Everything's dry. Everything is where it belongs. Just reach in, flip it off, and we are done.